Yo, yo, yo. You know who it is. It's the Arthur. Um, so Kobe Bryant, the great Kobe Bryant, the late Kobe Bryant has died and passed away along with uh, his daughter and and other people who were on the plane. Um, when I first heard the news, um, I, I thought it was a hoax. I thought it was uh, one of those uh, fake rumors and... But then I realized when I searched it up again that everybody was reporting the same thing. Started to realize, oh my goodness, he's actually gone. A day after uh, LeBron passed him on the all-time scoring all-time scoring list, he actually passed away, and this did something to my soul. It did something to my heart. It made me realize that even when you when you get up when you're when you get up to go to work in the morning or whatever you may do whenever you do that you coming back home is not promised with the way things have been going lately and how everything is just crazy nowadays you could go to the you could go to the supermarket or Walmart Go to buy something, and then some dude just come comes in with an AK-47, shoots up the place. This world, nothing in this world is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. It did something to my heart. It made me realize that I got to be grateful for every little thing that I have because the next minute is not promised. We got to realize that we're in some testing times now. There is no test without testimony. There is no testimony without test. Everything on this earthly three-dimensional plane is a test. And the best thing that we can do is never ever ever to take anything for granted because nothing is promised kobe bryant the great kobe bryant everyone looked up to kobe bryant he left a mark on the world now he's gone it was routine apparently he uh he travels by helicopter a lot something as routine as mundane to him as that turn that simple error in judge, judgment destroyed everything that was uh, was worked for. And now his legacy lives on. But this just made me realize that I have to be, one, I have to be grateful for every single thing. I can't leave anything up to chance. And I have to direct my path. Because tomorrow may not be promised. So there is no point into living a life that you're not proud of. There's no point living in fear. There's no point living in depression. There's no point living in misery. And there's no point. At this time, at this time, it's now or never. Whatever has been on your mind recently, whatever has been on your mind lately, you have to take some sort of initiative and do something about it because the next your next breath is not promised and we saw that we saw that many many times and i have to look at myself in the mirror and realize that everything that i've been holding back everything that i didn't do that i regret that i should have done i can't let that happen anymore because tomorrow may not be here I could be gone with the wind. Really brought tears to my life, gave me chills, gave me goosebumps, and just made me realize that I got to do more in life. You got to do more in life. We all got to do more in life because your next breath may be your last. Signing out.